Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the talk show of London School of Public Relations in association with Global Alliance. In this opportunity, please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Elijah Malaki Hutagal, and I will be your host for today. Sebelum memasuki rangkaian acara, saya ingin mengucapkan Happy PR and Communication Month untuk kita semua, students and practitioners of public relations and communications. Mari bersama-sama kita meriahkan dan rayakan bulan ini, lebih tepatnya bulan Oktober, yang telah ditetapkan oleh Global Alliance sebagai PR and Communication Month. Now, today kita sudah kedatangan satu speaker yang tentunya sangat berpengalaman dalam bidang komunikasi, lebih tepatnya PR, Mr. Boy from PT Astra International selaku General Manager and Head of Corporate Communication sekaligus the Chairman of Perhumas Indonesia. Round of applause and please welcome Mr. Boy. Thank you. Good day, Mr. Boy. How are you doing? I'm doing good. It is such it's great an, to be here. It is such an honor for us to be with you here today. Now, we have five questions in regards to three okay. main points, which is advocacy, recognition, and credibility. Right. Now, knowing that Astra International is a very big company, I would like to ask, what is the most important credibility um, indicator that a company should have? Well, there's there's so many indicators, uh, Eli. Um, one of the most important thing in my perspective is that uh, reputation, because an organization needs a reputation, a good reputation, and a good reputation does not come in overnight. You know, it has to be built through the years, as Astra has been established since 1957, 1957. for the last 65 years, and reputation is very important for um, one of the indicators of a great company. That is wonderful. The fact that PT Astra International has been here in Indonesia since 1957. So it's been 65 years. So um, knowing that it's been here for 65 years, so there must be lots of campaigns, lots of um, activities that you've been doing. And how do you measure the campaign or the um, company's recognition? Is it by the impact, by the cost? Right. Uh, we have a lot of uh, measurement tools. One of them is that we do a brand audit. Uh, we did that in the last, let's say, 2011. And then after that, every once in two years, we do uh, brand health tracking. So we track uh, the brand health of Astra um, nationwide. And also we find uh, respondents from internal and also external parties. And from there, uh, we could identify how is the position of our brand uh, perceived by the audience. And aside from that, uh, we use also the AMEC in in indicators. Um, you're familiar with that. Yes, um, and then also we use the customer satisfaction index for all of our programs to um, find how much uh, you know, acceptance of the program that we do. I think all of those, those three uh, main uh, indicators uh, measurements that we use in Astra. Nice. And you also mentioned about other parties as well. And how do you practice advocacy in between those parties or different stakeholders? Especially knowing that different stakeholders might have different wants and also right. different needs. Right. So how do you right. keep up with the advocacy of the company? In, in Astra's corporate communications, we have uh, groups of uh, departments that handles the stakeholders. We have internal comms that handles the internal stakeholders together with the uh, human capital uh, development team. And then we have in the media relations team that uh, handles the stakeholders of media. Uh, we do have government relations uh, for stakeholders uh, for government perspective. Uh, we do have brand communications partnerships with all of the association and partners that we have. Now we do stakeholders mapping. This is important for us to identify the need of each of stakeholders and how we cater them all. So stakeholder mapping is very important. So stakeholder mapping, you have internal and also external, also governmental um, organizations. So um, knowing that there are so many stakeholders, I think I'm going to focus one on the external one, the right. public, since it's VR. Yeah. And what is your plan for the next five years in establishing the public's trust? Yeah, I think, uh, I think most of us, every company, uh, every organization wants to live for many, many years. Astra has established for the last 65 years and uh, wanting, to, of course, to be established to, since 
for many, many years again. Um, we have to focus on what's, what is needed for the um, stakeholders, as you said. As we map the state, stakeholders, we identify what needs to be done. And of course, we're going to be strengthening all of our programs, activities related to the stakeholders. And of course, uh, contribute to the economic growth of Indonesia. Uh, of course, uh, building a sustainable business. And of course, uh, everything that is important for the community. That is very wonderful um, to know which aspect is important for us as PR and now. Knowing that this is a PR talk show and friends that are watching this video must be either PR students or practitioner. And from Mr. Boy, do you have any message or do you have any advice for us as PR students or PR practitioners for our future in the PR industry? Yes, of course, the world is also always changing, uh, Eli, and friends who's watching. We have to keep ourselves relevant with the world, whatever it takes. If you remember uh, the last almost three years ago, um, when pandemic COVID-19 came into Indonesia, and I think that changed a lot of things yeah. in, in how we work, how we do things, how we communicate, what tools we use, what format we use as a forum. I think that uh, encourages us to keep on um, adapting with the situation. So relevance is key and keep on adapting with the situation. Yes, correct. I agree very much to that statement. Now, after this insightful discussion, I want to announce something. So, in order to uh, memeriahkan dan juga untuk merayakan lagi PR Communication Month kemarin, kita sempat membuat a giveaway. Okay. We're giving away one smartwatch di mana teman-teman wow. di Instagram bisa uh, membagikan analisis mereka mengenai their favorite PR campaign. All right. And without any further ado, the winner is Wahyu Setia. Wow. Congratulations. Hola, Wahyu Setia. One of our team will be contacting you. Please send us your details and your smartwatch will be coming your way. I think that is all for today in this talk show. I am Elijah and Mr. Boy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eli. Thank you so much.